Welcome to Item Breakdown, a series where I analyze every single item in Mario Maker 2, go over their properties, and find interesting ways to use them in our own levels. This video is all about the Superstar. A Superstar is an item type course part available in every game style. It is a moving, gravity affected power up. It moves to the left or right, bouncing about three tiles high as it moves and turns around when hitting solid objects. If Mario collects a Superstar, he gains Superstar Invincibility for roughly 10 seconds. During this time, Mario is immune to damage of any kind, enemies he comes into contact with are defeated instantly, and his max speed is slightly increased. In the Super Mario Bros. 3, New Super Mario Bros. U, and Super Mario 3D World game styles, he also performs flips when jumping. Mario is able to have Superstar Invincibility while maintaining the abilities of other power-ups. Unfortunately, Mario is not completely unkillable in this state. He is still susceptible to instant death events such as falling off screen, touching lava or poison, and being crushed. While most enemies, including ones considered bosses, are defeated instantly, there are a few exceptions. These include munchers, buzzy beetle shelmets launched from a bill blaster when standing on top of them, hop chops when bouncing on their heads, and piranha creeper stems. In addition to enemies being defeated, their projectiles are also no match to Mario with superstar invincibility. While most gizmo damage sources such as saws, fire bars, and the like are not defeated, icicles on the other hand are shattered upon contact. And if Mario is holding an enemy that would be destroyed on contact before collecting a superstar, it is not destroyed. However, attempting to pick one up with superstar invincibility will defeat it. A superstar has two modifications, winged and parachuting. A winged superstar travels across the screen, rising and falling one tile off of its horizontal axis as it moves. A parachuting superstar descends slowly toward the bottom of the screen, resuming its basic behavior when it lands. A superstar can be placed in all of the standard containers. When released from a container block, it will always begin moving to the right. When spawned from a pipe or bill blaster, the container will only produce one at a time, spawning another once the first is no longer loaded. A Lakitu will toss up to four superstars before flying away. When released from a tree, it will jump out from the top. It is also able to be placed inside vehicles. Inside a Koopa Clown car, it will pilot the vehicle towards Mario, and in a Lakitu's cloud, it will pilot the vehicle on a horizontal plane. A superstar can be placed in, as well as grabbed by, a swinging claw. It is also able to be placed on a track. Yoshi is able to grab a superstar with its tongue. It will remain in Yoshi's mouth indefinitely. While Mario has superstar invincibility, even though attempting to grab a shellmet will defeat it, he is still able to jump into one from below and wear it. While wearing a shellmet, Mario still defeats enemies instantly instead of knocking them up or damaging them. However, munchers are affected appropriately depending on the shellmet. A superstar is able to travel through clear pipes. The sound it makes when landing on a music block is a Celesta. A superstar travels much slower through liquids, and is not destroyed by either lava or poison. In the night airship and sky themes, it is affected by low gravity. In the night ghost house and underwater themes, a superstar casts a strong amount of light from its center. If Mario has superstar invincibility, the light he casts is increased to cover the entire screen. Finally, a superstar is part of a status clear condition, requiring the player to reach the goal with superstar invincibility. So, now that we know how it works, how do we work with it? The superstar is one of the most iconic power-ups from the Mario franchise. It appeared in the original Super Mario Bros., and its functionality and behavior hasn't really changed since. Just like the Super Mushroom or the Fire Flower, its design was pretty much perfect from the very start. But while iconic, it doesn't see much creative use in Super Mario Maker. 
Aside from hellish spike mazes, or the dreaded dev stars, what used to be an exhilarating feeling of freedom in mainline Mario games has transformed into a feeling of dread in the Maker games. Its functionality remains the same, but how players use it has certainly taken a turn for the worse. But just because other players use it to torture, cheat, and trick doesn't mean we have to. While niche, the Superstar still presents some unique use cases. And who doesn't love jamming to that star music while taking out tons of baddies? When I think Superstar, I think traditional. Although I'd be hard pressed to find a traditional course that actually utilizes this pointy planetoid. I don't blame them either. Giving the player a superstar means giving them a free pass to shoot through a good chunk of a stage unimpeded. Meticulously placed enemies and hazards mean nothing to a plumber hopped up on celestial star fumes. However, a well-placed and well-prepared for star run is something that really could elevate a traditional course. Taking inspiration from its original appearance, the superstar is best hidden somewhere hard to reach as a reward for more curious players. Handing out a star for free isn't going to feel as satisfying. It'll be apparent that most players will more than likely stumble upon it, and in turn make the following star run feel like something that was inevitable rather than earned. In addition to this, a player with superstar invincibility will be inclined to rush through as much of the course as they can in order to take full advantage of this temporary immunity and godlike ability. As such, this means that a player will become a lot more reckless, trying to squeeze as much value out of their superstar as they possibly can. By designing around this, we can give the player a moment of fun without breaking the entire challenge of our level. Including gaps in the ground means that there are still obstacles for the player to avoid. Large groups of enemies scattered about in one area might convince the player to take them all out for an extra life instead of running right past them, and terrain set up in such a way that it slows the player down ensures that they won't be able to take their star power too far and break our course's progression. But of course, these are just suggestions. I think to implement a superstar properly in a traditional course means to get inside the head of a player that just found one. When I say superstar speedrun, the first thing that probably comes to your mind is a spike maze. You know what I'm talking about. You get a superstar and have to run through a maze of spikes with just barely enough time to reach the end. I'm not really sure who finds these courses enjoyable, but it's certainly not me. However, I do think speedrun levels could use a little dose of star power. Instead of the entire course being made out of spike traps, I think it works out better as a one-off. Just a good 10 seconds of the speedrun where the player needs the superstar, and then back to your standard speedrun shenanigans. For one, spike mazes just don't look pleasing to the eye. And two, when the player has to keep their superstar invincibility throughout the entire level, it starts to lose a little bit of its magic. By setting up just a short section where it's required, it's able to keep its feeling of invincibility intact, while also allowing more creative star power required gates, such as taking out an enemy, jumping through saws, or landing on munchers. These are arguably way more interesting than just floor hurdy. In the same vein of speedruns, I believe platforming levels can utilize the superstar in a similar fashion. Although, instead of simply trying to get to the end as fast as possible, now the player might need to traverse across different tiered platforms, each that would otherwise be deadly if not for their trusty star. Again, I think the star is best used with moderation here. However, I think more creative platforming levels can be based around the superstar than speedruns could ever dream of. Giving the player a short burst of invincibility will cause the same need for speed as it does in traditional levels, but now they'll be forced to actually take advantage of it. Kaizo levels might be one of the most interesting places to find this power-up. The concept of a level that has a single, difficult solution and a power-up that makes the player invincible seem to be at odds. But something I haven't mentioned yet is the fact that the superstar can turn into a deadly obstacle as well. By creating challenges that require the player to bounce off of certain enemies, the superstar becomes a death sentence, as the player will instead fall right through them. This certainly could be achieved a number of different ways. However, by flipping what the player deems as a power-up and a hazard on its head, 
certainly creates for a unique course. And that's just a point of this astronomical asteroid. If you're looking for more inspiration, check out another one of these item breakdowns. A huge thank you to my patrons and YouTube members for making this series possible, and I'll see you in the next one.